What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with a breakdown for some new content and updates from Bungie this week in Destiny 2. Of course, we have the weekly reset for the 3rd of September, which puts us a little over a month away from the second episode for Destiny 2 drop-in. So in the next month, we'll probably start to get some more details, but for this reset, Echoes continues. We do get another Catalyst upgrade for the Choir of One. Bungie also offers some updates regarding that exotic and name changes that have happened recently. So we'll cover all of those, as well as an event that's taking place this week key bits of content to keep in mind and a handful of other items in the video. So as always, I hope you find this one useful, but now let's get into it. And firstly, we've got a couple of updates from Bungie here. So they say we've resolved an issue that caused numerous Bungie name changes on August 13th. All players have now received an additional name change token to update their names if desired. But they point out players should follow the Bungie name guide to avoid future changes, which is a funny way of wording it because it almost suggests that it was the fault of players, which on the most part, it wasn't. But nonetheless, that name change token is now available, and I'll link Bungie's help article down below if you need details on how to use it. The other quick update, though, is related to the Choir of One. Players have noted how it's pretty juicy, but the D2 team said the weapon currently is holding far more ammo in reserves than was intended, but also hipfire projectiles are dealing more damage than intended when buffed by Divinity. So they are planning some bug fixes for these, but they plan to hold them until Episode 2. And so in addition to the artifact mods that are currently available, the weapon is performing better than intended, the fix for that won't happen for another month, so kind of disappointing that ultimately it will be fixed, but at least for the moment we get to enjoy it as it is. Kind of wild that these errors are still happening, but give us your thoughts down below. Otherwise, there is some server maintenance for the game today, so we're not actually sure if this will mean downtime as well, but Bungie have said from September 3rd at 6am PDT up until 2pm there is going to be some maintenance taking place. If we get a patch with that, I'll be sure to let you know, and we'll cover all of that with the vendor reset later on. Next up though, Bungie say, this week of course, there is a sword event, so starting September 3rd, all swords in the heavy ammo slot will regenerate ammo for a whole week, so that's up until the reset time on September 10th. And they say that swords will effectively have infinite heavy ammo in seasonal content, as well as strikes, nightfalls, and that will include Grandmasters, plus Gambit, the Relic game mode in Crucible, and Legend and Master Lost sectors. On top of that, four seasonal challenges during this week will be focused on getting kills with swords in some of the activities, so it'll be interesting to have infinite heavy ammo for swords this week. They also say if you want to share any clips of cool plays or whatever using those swords, you can share them on social media using the hashtag sword logic, and ultimately Bungie will pick some winners that will be granted the photo ionization and movie of the week emblems, so a cool additional layer if you want to take part in that. Onto the seasonal content though, I know we just spoke about the bugs for Choir of One, but this week we do get another catalyst for it, which is destabilizing rounds. So that's going to be a pretty nice one. Next week we'll get Onslaught on the weapon, which I think will certainly be the best one overall, but again for the Catalyst upgrade this reset, there'll be a quest of Banshee, and it'll simply require us to open the second chest inside of Encore on Expert mode and then complete the mission. So it should be reasonably straightforward if you know where that second chest is. And otherwise, there are new steps, of course, for the weekly story quest. A few that will actually take us to Europa, and another that'll take us into a variant of the Encore mission, which is part of the season story. So that will be interesting. But ultimately, it will result in the Nest 08 research quest dropping as well. So a few more steps along the way in the seasonal content. Then, of course, next week's reset, we'll see the conclusion of weekly story steps, as well as upgrades for Choir of One. So minus any finale event that may occur or piece of content we might get right at the end of the season. That will pretty much conclude Echoes. So give us your thoughts about that. But for a final couple of mentions here, we can get an additional non-adept Nightfall weapon this week by completing the Darkest Nightfall Seasonal Challenge, which requires us to complete any Nightfall Strike on Advanced Difficulty or higher, and bonus progress will be granted for completing Nightfalls above Advanced Difficulty. So if you fancy an additional Nightfall weapon drop, that'll be one to look out for. Otherwise, I think Azumi RR4 will be the featured weapon this week. And then finally, for featured Exotic, and farmable ones, of course. Firstly, King's Fall will be up this week, so we can grab the Touch of Malice. Plus, Ghost of the Deep will be the featured dungeon, so Navigator will be completely farmable. And then the featured exotic mission will be Starcrossed, where we can grab Wishkeeper. And of course, we've got upgrades for Quora of One as well. So a few things to go after this week, at least if you still need them. And otherwise, I'll keep you posted with Bungie updates, any details we might get about server downtime or patch changes at reset, plus further news throughout the course of the week. I'm hoping that we're going to hear something about the 10th anniversary event that we saw teased a few weeks ago, as technically the 10th anniversary will roughly be around about the weekly reset next Tuesday, so with a bit of luck we'll get some details about that. 
My only other quick mention for the moment is regarding Iron Banner. Now, some players believe that Iron Banner will return this week. We actually don't seem to have a direct confirmation from Punchy about this. Other outlets have also confirmed that Iron Banner should be starting on September 3rd. And again, I can't find any source for that specifically coming from Bungie, so I can't guarantee that Iron Banner will actually return. We should see another Iron Banner event before the end of this episode, so Iron Banner will happen in the next month. But there seems to be a lot of speculation between players about precisely when it's going to come back, so might be this week or might be in the next couple of weeks at some point. Of course, Bungie updated the Krimmel's Dagger, as well as Claws of the Wolf for Iron Banner this episode. And otherwise, the rewards will be the same as the first event that we had earlier on in this episode. So we'll just have to wait and see. But since I'd had a few questions about it, I thought I'd give a quick mention. It'd be really useful if Bungie would actually get the next week in Destiny cards sorted so that we could get more confirmation about what's happening. They haven't even mentioned the fact that those posts have stopped coming up in the game on a Friday. So pretty weird stuff. And either way, whether you like Iron Banner or not, perhaps you're more of a Trials player, just keep in mind Iron Banner is going to turn up at some point in the next month, which will mean a couple of weeks break for Trials of Osiris. Can't give any more clarity than that, it is however worth a quick mention nonetheless. But for today guys, it's everything we've got to speak about, so once again get subscribed, drop a like rating down below if you have found the video useful, and let us know any things that you're planning to get done in the game this reset down in the comment section. But otherwise, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Do you still imagine all the possibilities life could have, as I did? Or has fate made other choices for us? If we are to stray from our predetermined path, our salvation requires sacrifice.